and we'll pop her up and see if that's going to clear. Ready? Yeah. Oh, dude. It's too close. You kidding? No. Guys, we thought we'd show you what's going on. Welcome to another episode of Zero to 60, and it's the second episode on the world's fastest street driven. E90 M54, or any M54 for that matter. Um, so when that video went up the other day, which has had a lot of views, thank you everyone that's checked it out. Thank you for the people that were confused about what a streetcar is. We do appreciate the conversation. Um, but Daniel from Simply Tuning, the gentleman, the mastermind that put this car together back in 2016, he actually got in touch. Actually, he was a subscriber put us in touch. Anyway, we've been talking to Daniel and he's super excited to show us over the car. And he actually invited us down to his shop tomorrow morning. So we're going to take it down. He said it'll give us a full walkthrough on the car, explain why it's got the bits it's got, uh, explain any quirks or features that it may have that Cody didn't tell us about. And uh, he also said to wind it back up because apparently <laughs> when he sold it to Cody, it didn't have the full blown race tune because it was given to Cody as a drive car to be driven on the road and obviously to last. Well, we don't want that. We want to have some fun with it. So um, we've got to get it ready to go down to Dan. Now, unfortunately, because we've got the broken studs, and let's be fair, the, uh, the tires Cody gave us were not exactly mink condition. Um, we wanted to put some other wheels on it. Now, we have a set of these wheels on the parts car, and unfortunately, after a lot of messing around today, which hopefully we've got some clips of, um, we can't get them off because we don't have a lock nut for it. How annoying is that? And we've never taken wheels off that parts car. Um, so we thought, no worries, we'll use the wheels that the parts car is balanced on, which, which were are those wheels. ones. Now they actually come off Mark's car. So an E90 sedan. Should have got, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Bolt straight on. It's got good, good enough rubber. Um, however, one of them's developed a weep. Yeah, they've been sitting outside for a little while and it's actually started to crack. So we put it on the car, pumped it up, and it started leaking straight away. Um, however, David has got a spare set of E60 M5 wheels. These are actually the front wheels off an E60 M5. So they're a 19 inch, pretty aggressive offset, but they've still got the E60 M5 tires on them and it's going to rub. Apparently, we thought we, we thought the job was done, uh, but there's just too much tire. Yeah, and it is now 9.30 p.m. We need to be at Dan's in 12 hours, not well, less than 12 hours. Uh, so we're running a bit short of time. I think the only wheels we have left are my 666M copies, the copper ones. Well, there are the, the fronts from that set the as well, the fronts. but the parts car is still sitting on. We'll have to jack it back up again yes. with the engine crane. Anyway, that's... Just more fun. We're going to sort out in the morning. We're going to go to Dan's. That's going to be the main thing. So there will be another video on this. Hopefully, probably the day after this video goes up on this car, having a proper walkthrough, explaining why it's as fast as it is, and maybe we might be able to twist his arm and get on the dyno and actually see what it's what it's making. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but while we've got it on the hoist, we had it on the hoist to remove the broken, broken. studs. So they are the titanium studs. Um, now we did actually find out they have broken due to user error. Had the wrong wheel nuts when Cody had the drag radials on. Easy mistake to make. Remember, you don't know what you don't know. Nobody hate on Cody, he's a nice dude. Um, but hopefully we'll get another set of studs in the next week or so. We've just used standard BMW bolts for now. Uh, they will hold the wheel on fine. They just don't look as cool as the titanium studs. But we wanted to, while we got it on the hoist, have should we have a look underneath and show you guys what it's got underneath? Because it's pretty cool. We had a little bit of a sneak before. Let's lift it up in the air and have a look at it. Better just shut the bonnet down. You ready to go up? Uh, near the car's moved. Oh, forwards or backwards? Backwards. Oh, we have to move it forward, backwards. Though. Okay. That doesn't want to roll, does it? That's ridiculous. I think it might be on the hoist. Ah, uh, the hoist was not all the way down. Uh, now the hoist is all the way down. Uh, well, yeah, that's so much easier when it's not bolted to the ground. <laughs> we good? That should do it. Look safe? Yep. So guys, we did have a quick look when it was about a foot off the ground, but we haven't had a proper look underneath. The thing that blew us away was the size of the exhaust. Like, we could see that when we were doing the wheels, and it is a big thing. Nice V-bands on it. And dude, look at the size of the mufflers. Yeah, and... It's got two huge mufflers. The other thing was it was good to actually get a good look at these shocks. 
Well, just everything back here, the whole subframe, all the control arms. Dan did explain that they were the Viking shocks. Um, but yeah, it has got all the gear. Definitely not standard axles. And look at that. I think we have got our money's worth just and for that piece of equipment glide. right there. That is the main reason we bought this car. We've got a little oil weeping out the back. No biggie. Temp sensors in there. Some sort of, it might be a reverse switch or something. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> got some spaces. So we got a little bit of an oil leak. It wouldn't be an M54 if the sump wasn't leaking or the oil pan. True, it is coming along all those bolts as well. So it could be the sump. Hang up talk about it. you can see the starter motor up through. Where is the starter motor? Oh, yeah, right at the top, you can just see it creeping through. But yeah, you can see got the billet bell housing. Man, that would be amazing. some money. It is supposed to be a full billet transmission, but we will get more information. It's the full oh, oh. braided fuel lines as well. Oh, and a fuel filter. We've got that logo there. BTE transmission. Let us know if you know what that is. BTE billet plate. BM shifter cable. Dude, this it's is a good kit. Yeah, it it doesn't really. look, I was expecting it to look a bit more race car. I, I was a bit concerned. I thought we were buying a, a, a race car. It's going to be beaten up, it's going to be thrashed and bent and buckled, but it's honestly, I've been under low kilometre road cars that are better than this. Worse than this, yeah. Sorry, worse than this. Custom engine. Oh, and you actually see the manifold from here too, actually. Oh, there it is. Wait, she looks pretty nice. Custom steering shaft. Dude, it doesn't look very... I wonder how long ago. So I'm sure Dan's changed it at some point. It all looks fresh. And you can see how tight the bloody... Like how tight the dump is against everything. This is the least oil we've ever had on an M54 that we bought. Check out the oil drain coming off the turbo. Nice big AN. Looks like a Dash 12. There's the water pump. Dude, she's all pretty dry. It doesn't look bad. And another thing that was impressive, just to sort of show you the level this thing's been built at, is all the, the custom ducting for the, the oil coolers on both sides, the left and the right. Inner cooler looks not very old. Yeah, it's a, it's a proper car. Yeah. It is a proper car. It's, it was almost a bit of a shame for Cody. I don't really know if he understood everything he was getting here. This is sick. And they're not stock M3 arms either it's got the mono balls in there oh nice yeah shocks leaking so world's fastest m54 streetcar has a leaky shock absorber who would have thought and you can see the custom air gas aircon regas valves up there ah <laughs> uh, uh, it's going to be good to actually have a chat to dan tomorrow and see more and more about why things are the way they are why he's chosen to do them this way. Everything's solid. It's no wonder it can do trans brake after that's, trans brake after trans brake and not brake. That's the thing, you see all the videos of it being being abused and you thought it's gonna take its toll on it and things are just gonna be a little bit beaten up, but it just looks mint and it's because it's, it's been built properly. A little bit of exhaust rubbing there. You know what, that could be part of the vibration we're feeling. I wonder if it could do with some adjustment on the exhaust. My car, when my car hits the exhaust on that plate, you yeah. feel it? Yeah, and you can see it is rubbing there. That's something we might better tweak. Mm. It might just be as close as it's going to be. All right, guys, that's a quick look under this car. But the good video is going to be tomorrow. Um, yeah, hopefully Dan will explain it a lot better. Give us a lot more insight into the vehicle and help us understand the way it is. And he even said he'd be nice enough to show us how to drive it. I don't know what he means by that. We'll have to find out. But there is a reason we needed to put some better tyres on it. Um, yeah, guys, look, we're going to end off there. Sorry there hasn't been many videos this week. We've had a few dramas. Um, should we tell them about the M5? Um, Dave got ripped off by his panel beater. Anyway, we'll go into it in another one. Um, but yeah, that was hours trying to get a resolution which hasn't come to fruition. Um, but I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. More M54 content. We've got to get this thing all sorted and so we can get out and use it on the street. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Guys, we're going to end off there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and sorry it was a late video. We started trying to film this about three hours. No. A lot longer than that. Jesus, fuck. Okay, nine hours ago. We started just after lunch. Where's the day gone? Just car where's things. The, where's the week gone, really? <laughs> All right. Thank you again, and yeah, let us know if there's anything you'd like to hear from Dan about this car, um, and we'll ask him while we're down there tomorrow, because yeah. you know we always check those comments. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Peace.